Mr. Harry Tan, thanks for your time. You're in Beijing for the two sessions. The National People's Congress will discuss the issue of national security legislation in Hong Kong. Can you please tell us why now? I think there is an urgency to enact a national security law specific for Hong Kong right now is because there is, uh, there is an increasing trend that we see many of the opposition have, have very tight and in fact uh, have, have advocated that a foreign government interfere in the national security of the People's Republic of China. Uh, I think this is totally unacceptable for some of our opposition uh, people to solicit or to urge or to, uh, or to invite intervention from foreign government. Uh, I don't think any sovereign government is going to, uh, to tolerate this. And uh, secondly, we have seen an increasing escalation of the violence of these, uh, of these uh, rioters. The rioters are attacking our police, uh, injuring hundreds of them, and they have been attacking uh, and vandalizing public property, destroying public properties, and uh, affecting the way of life in Hong Kong. So I think, uh, I believe that the Central People's Government, they have the right as well as the necessity to enact a national security law specific to Hong Kong as soon as possible. And some doubt that it will affect Hong Kong's freedom. Do you think Hong Kong people will enjoy the freedom as before? Why? The freedom and the rights of the Hong Kong people is enshrined in the basic law. And these are including the freedom of speech, the freedom to gather, the freedom to, uh, uh, to protest. Uh, all of these freedoms are enshrined in the basic law and they will not be diminished in any way. So a normal person in Hong Kong, in fact, the majority of the people in Hong Kong will not be affected by this national security law at all. I'm pretty sure that uh, law-abiding citizens, which is the vast majority of the Hong Kong citizen, will never think of treason, think of uh, uh, separatism, will not think of subversion, nor will they think of rioting. So therefore, uh, the rights and freedom of the people will be enshrined, will be protected and will not be affected. You are the former Chief Secretary for Administration and Chief Financial Secretary in Hong Kong. Some say it will affect the confidence of international investors and Hong Kong's status as an international financial center. What do you think? I actually think it will enhance our position as an international financial se sector, an international financial center, simply because most businesses, if not all businesses, would like to see first stability. And the national security law will enhance and increase the secure, the uh, stable environment of Hong Kong. So I believe most business will look for this stable environment to begin with. Secondly, uh, we, have, we have endured uh, nearly a year of public violence. And then I'm pretty sure that most Hong Kong people are sick and tired of seeing these rioters in the street disrupting our lives, destroying public properties, and attacking our police force. Um, randomly and wantonly. So I believe the business community will welcome this national security law so that we will be able to regain stability in this very law-abiding community in, in Hong Kong.